Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Chris. Welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Before we get started, I did want to show off my World's OKS Crucibler t-shirt. If you're interested, I'll have a link to my merch store down below in the description. Uh, today what I wanted to do was do something kind of similar to yesterday's video where I talked about what Bungie could do to get PvE players more interested in PvP. Today I want to kind of turn the tables and talk about what Bungie could do to get PvP players more interested in PvE. Uh, so I am just going to kind of uh, play a couple Crucible matches and Spitball. So today I'll be using my 7th Seraph Officer Revolver and I'll be using either Duality or Adored depending on the map that we get. And uh... You know what, let's go ahead and throw on a Killing Wind Rampage Grenade Launcher. Uh, and today I am on my Warlock, just because I haven't uploaded any Warlock footage in a very long time. Uh, let's jump into the gameplay. Alright, well, we joined a match in progress, winning 93-87 to on Altar of Flame. Uh, I didn't know what map it was going to be, so I kept Duality on, but when I die, I'll be switching over to my Adored. Just because this is a uh, mad decent sniper map. There we go. So anyway, uh, to the subject at hand, how to get PvP players more interested in PvE. Uh, I did jot down a few notes, but I am going to kind of just... Uh, just go off the top of my head here. Uh, first and foremost, I think a, uh, much like yesterday when I was talking about PvP players interested in PvE, I think Zavala needs a complete vendor refresh. Uh, giving Zavala more loot would definitely get PvP players more interested in PvE. Especially, like, well, if you think about, like, back in Forsaken, or I, I don't remember what season it was, but it was during year two. Uh, I think it was Drewski or Cami Cakes uploaded a video about how the officer revolver that you could get... Here, let's show. Uh, this one here. Weapons. Hand cannons. Uh, this right here, the service revolver that you could get from Zavala, was... Uh, you could actually get a role that was similar to Not Forgotten or Luna's Howl in the kinetic slot. You know, so things like that, when uh, when that video got uploaded, I knew a ton of people that were PvP mains that were running PvE to try and get that hand cannon. So giving Zavala a complete vendor refresh would be one way to get PvP players more interested in, in PvE activities. Or, or at least strikes, right? Um, okay, well that was a really short match. We'll see how we did and pick the subject up in the next match. Uh, five opponents defeated with a 1.25. It's alright, I guess. All right, so now we got Pacifica, and I am still using my Officer Revolver, but I did switch over to Duality. Uh, so we mentioned giving Zavala a complete vendor refresh, uh, but here's the deal. Like, if we're going to be giving Zavala and Shax vendor refreshes, uh, we can't have a shared loot pool anymore, because if I can grind out the same weapons in PvP that I can in Strikes... Why wouldn't I just run strikes? It's a lot easier and a lot faster. That guy was going to try to melee me into the wall. He didn't do it. Uh, so no more shared loot pool. Because what that does is it keeps the, uh, it keeps the player base fragmented, right? Like if I prefer PvP, if I prefer, prefer Crucible over strikes, could you not be right in front of me, teammate? Like, what What was that? Why were you literally in... Like, you couldn't go around? That man just got deleted. Um... 
But yeah, no more shared loot pool because it fragments the player base. Like, if I prefer Crucible, why wouldn't I just do Crucible? If I prefer uh, Strikes, why wouldn't I just do that? Good shot. Uh, but also, every Nightfall needs exclusive loot. I don't know why they haven't done this in so long. It was a thing in D1, it was a thing in year one, uh, year one and year two of D2. So we need Nightfall exclusive loots, but also we need more interesting loot. Like they sold sunsetting to us by telling us that by sunsetting our weapons, they could bring in more interesting weapons, more interesting perks. And that just hasn't happened yet. They sunset Revoker and brought in Adored, and Adored has Snapshot and Killing Wind, which, you know, it's a great sniper rifle. I love it. But, it's not more interesting than Adored. Or, I'm sorry, it's not more interesting than Revoker. Uh, they sunset Recluse. Didn't bring in anything more interesting than that. Enemy has advantage. So, they definitely need to bring in Pinnacle Weapons again. And, and you know, make sure they have more interesting perks, more interesting loot. Uh, additionally, new strikes and more interesting strikes. We have been running some of these strikes for four years. We've been running the Arms Dealer for four years. We've been running... Uh, Lake of Shadows for three years. You know, like, give us new strikes and make those more interesting. And when I say interesting, I don't mean, like, like, impossible to run up and melt the boss. But, you know, maybe give me some new mechanics. Literally, uh, there are so many strikes that I absolutely hate that if I am running strikes... I just, I, I won't play them if I load into them. Like, uh, the Exodus Crash Strike, I will not play that strike. So, get rid of immunity phases, because A, they're not interesting, B, they're not fun. Uh, so new strikes, more interesting strikes. Uh, like, my absolute favorite strike is actually a year one strike. Um, the inverted spire. I really like that strike. Uh, I know that that boss kind of has immunity phases. Oh god, I'm dead. Yeah, so I know the Inverted Spire has immunity phases, but I really do like that strike. I like where you can get to the drill and pull your sparrow out. And you know, it's kind of risky, but it's still a lot of fun. You know, and the other thing is, give us new champion mechanics. We've had Unstoppable, Barrier, and Overload for two years now. Give me something new. Like, it's just, it's not interesting anymore. And then the other thing is uh, the seasonal activities with aspirational loot. Now, I know Bungie said that this year, or at least moving forward, they weren't going to get rid of the seasonal activities anymore. So, like, the Wrathborn hunts, we're going to have those all year. Uh, the Empire hunts, we're going to have those all year. And that's great, but there's no really good loot in any of those activities. Like... The Royal Chase? I don't... Like, no one really cares about the Royal Chase. Uh, Friction Fire can roll... Can can come with a pretty good roll. But... There's no... There's really no point in it when I can get a uh, auto rifle that could do the same thing. I do like the Grenade Launcher from the Wrathborn Hunts. Alright. 
But, you know, bring in seasonal activities with aspirational loot, like, uh, what was it, the, um, Season of the Worthy? No, Season, season of, Season of Dawn, the, uh, what was it called? The Sundial. Like, that was a fun activity, you could target what you wanted, and the loot was actually good, like, some of those weapons were really good. So, seasonal activities like that, with aspirational loot, that would be huge. So honestly, at the end of the day, just make it more interesting and give us loot worth grinding for. Where is this guy? Oh my god, dude. Really? Dude. Wow. Yeah, dude, you are awesome. You hide, and then back us away, and then bag someone. No, not this time. Controlling those zones. All right, let's see how we did. Only path to victory. Uh, 18 was a 1.38. Not my best game, not my worst game. All right, so yeah, to get PvP players more interested in PvE activities, I think we need to have Nightfall exclusive loot for every Nightfall. I know they're going to be doing that maybe next season or the season after when they're bringing back uh, Palindrome, Shadow Price, and the... Uh, the grenade launcher or rocket launcher or whatever it is. But I think every Nightfall needs to have Nightfall exclusive loot. Like if you look at DFA, DFA was a great hand cannon. A lot of people used it in PvP and you had to grind out a Nightfall to get it. Mindbender's Ambition. Mindbender's ruled the Crucible for two years. You had to grind a Nightfall to get it. So bring back Nightfall exclusive loot. Give Zavala a complete vendor refresh but with that, no more shared loot pool. Uh, some new strikes, more interesting strikes, would get a lot of PvP players interested. Uh, I'm really enjoying the Legendary Lost Sectors. I think it's a great way to target exotics. Um, they're fun, they're interesting, they're challenging. I really like the Legendary Lost Sectors, so more of that is going to be great. Uh, new champion mechanics. We've had anti bear or We've had Barrier Champions, Overload Champions, and Unstoppable Champions for two years now, and it's a little stale. So some new champion mechanics would be great, and seasonal activities with aspirational loot. Like, I enjoy the Wrathborn hunts because I can finish them in like five minutes, and it's a great way to specifically target loot that I want. But the loot that you get from those, I, I honestly, I don't care about it. There's nothing that I really want from from the Wrathborn hunts. So with the seasonal activities, give me something that I actually want, whether it's for PvE or for PvP. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me today. Do me a favor and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think Bungie could do to get PvP players more interested in PvE. And in the meantime, be sure to hit the like button below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks for watching.